Okay, so let's take a look now at custom capability and member level files. What does that actually mean? Okay, well this is related to S2 members file download protection. This is a feature that also comes with S2 member and it allows you to protect files that you've uploaded to your server on a membership level basis. Okay, now if you've taken a look at the download options already, you've probably noticed that in this section you can dictate how many files can be downloaded every X number of days at each different level. So for example, I could say here in my download options that my free subscribers are able to download two files every 30 days and my premium members at level one would be able to download say unlimited files every 30 days. But what I cannot do here is I cannot say which files will be available on level one and which particular files will be available at level zero. So that's where this section comes in. Okay, and this is actually very simple. Whenever you take a look at download options, the first thing that you'll notice is that S2 member instructs you to upload all of your protected files to this security enabled directory. You know, on every installation, it's always called S2 member files. And this will be located under WP content plugins and S2 member files. And normally you would upload your files directly into this directory. Okay? But this is showing you how to create these special subdirectory names for both membership levels, where you have access S2 member level zero, or you could do one, two, three, and four. You could create one of these or all of these. And then instead of uploading the file tiger.doc, in this example, instead of uploading it directly under S2 member files, you would, you would nest it into this subdirectory, which will now require the customer to have level zero. Or a better example would be to require the customer to be at level one in order to download zebra.pdf. So this is very simple. And then you just link to the file here the same way you link to any file that's protected by S2 member. And that is the URL to your installation of WordPress, followed by S2 member file download equals, and it would be equal to the location of the file relative to the S2 member file's security enabled directory. So in this case, it would be the subdirectory name slash the file. And the S2 member handles the rest. It will not authenticate the download. In this example here with elephant.doc, it would not authenticate the download unless the member was logged in with access to level two. Okay, now with custom capabilities, it's almost identical, except the naming convention changes slightly on the subfolders. Instead, you use access S2 member CCAP, which is custom capability, followed by the trigger word that you've used to describe your custom capability. Okay, and then you just upload the file. So in this example, I might upload file.mp3 to that music, to that music subdirectory that is specifically stating in order to access this MP3 file, you would have to be logged in with the custom capability to access the music. Okay, so it's really that simple. There's not a whole lot to this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and collapse this section. And in the net, very next segment, we're going to cover S2 members content dripping. Okay, and if you're not familiar with content dripping, that is the pre-scheduled release of premium content. Okay, and we're going to cover that in the very next segment.